Hey everyone, Tyler at Diesel Laptops. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to pull up fault codes uh, using Premium Tech Tool, which is the software used for Mac and Volvo. And not just pull up fault codes, but tell you exactly how to fix them. So let's go through some examples here because a lot of people don't know this. So right now, if you have your VIN number, great. We'll put it in there. If you didn't have your VIN number, you could go over here and pick like Volvo Trucks and then pick which version or what year you have. Most people won't know this, so I wouldn't use this unless you really know what you're doing. So let's go back to VIN number, let's pop it in, let's hit OK, and it's going to take a little bit of time here. You do need to have online access with uh, Premium Tech Tool. So uh, let's go ahead and make a new work order here. And you have to do that every time that you connect to a vehicle with Tech Tool. So this is on a virtual machine. I'm not actually hooked up to anything at all. I'm just telling the software that I am hooked up to it. As you can see, it pulls up the information here and what emission years and, and all those things. So what I would do now is I'd go over to the Diagnose tab. And as soon as you go to this Diagnose tab or the Test tab or Calibrate or Program, just expect it to take a good 30, 45 seconds for it to do what it's going to do here. Um, it's not super quick or speedy. Uh, our virtual machines, laptops, I've never seen one actually fly through this software. This is some really beefy software from Tech Tool. They use the same program for pretty much everything all over the planet uh, when it comes to their diagnostics. Volvo is a pretty big worldwide organization. Uh, and the reason we're doing this, uh, well, we'll get back to that in a second. So first of all, let's go to engine. And it's basically, this is selecting symptoms, right? Engine, transmission, cruise control, all these. You don't even have to pick one. Just go down here to continue. And what it's gonna say now is, oh, okay, here's your fault codes. Which one do you wanna troubleshoot? We don't have any, because we're not actually hooked up to anything, but we can simulate it. So let's go over to edit list and let's pop up a list. And this is gonna be a list of all known fault codes that could possibly exist on that vehicle. And obviously you see a bunch of uh, P codes. And I'll tell you what module it is. Um, you just scroll down here, you can see they are they are all in here. So keep in mind your engine stuff is this ACM and EMS and, and all these other ones. Uh, when you get these other mids, mid 140, and uh, there's gonna be a ton of them. These are all your other separate, separate subsystems. So we'll just kind of grab some at random here. And you can say, are they active? Are they inactive? Uh, let's make that one active. Let's go grab a couple engine ones. And I, I have no idea what these ones are. Uh, so hopefully we get something good out of this. Uh, all right, let's go grab a couple more. Oop, too many clicks. A little laggy, that's all right. All right, now we hit okay. And now it's gonna say, oh, here's all the codes. Which one do you wanna know more about? Let's click the first one and then hit hit continue. And now it's gonna populate all the information we need to step through that diagnostic code. Again, don't expect this to be a speedy thing. You do need to have a valid subscription to Tech Tool, uh, which we do resell here through Diesel Laptops. Part of what you get when you buy one from us is the ability to call into our tech support department. We have both IT pros and we have actual diesel technicians on staff. So we're here to help you guys with no matter what. So all you would really do here is here's our code that we have. We give you some wiring diagrams or some information about it. Uh, select the system up here and basically you hit start. And again, what you're going to come down to is a bunch of options over here. So it's going to say, hey, here's some probable causes, more information, click here. And it'll just kind of keep walking you through everything you need to know about that continue about that code. All right. So I hit back and again, basic checks, test instructions, function tests, possible probable causes on what's causing it. So if we want to see the test instructions, just click test instructions. And you can see the menu down here is changing, right? So now it's saying, oh, okay, now I can continue and run a simulated. I can try it again. Uh, communication vehicle failed, run a simulated. Let's do it. And uh, it'll just kind of keep going through here. So obviously you can do a lot more when it's connected. Simulation's only gonna get you so far. It's just kind of meant to show you everything going on. Um, so set point should be minus 40 to minus 200. Um, we'll just say, I guess let's just leave it at 32. And we'll continue. And um, again, just walk through the troubleshooting tree with it. It'll get you to where you wanna go. All right, so let's go all the way back. Um, so just kind of keep hitting the back arrow. I'm sorry, not quite the right way to do it. All right, menus, menus. 
and going through the whole thing. So, all right. So at the end of the day, that's how you do it. We have to keep clicking continue here to get all the way through this thing. Um, yep, through the test limits. Continue. Exit this diagnostic procedure. Continue. All right. Now we're back to where we started. We can hit back and go to that main menu again where we can pick all our codes. All right. So there you have it. That is how you pull up diagnostic codes on Mac and Volvo with Premium Tech Tool and not have to be connected to the truck. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.